Hey, it's Chris here. I'm going to play some Wing Commander for you today. This is one of my old uh, childhood favorites. I think while I'm playing this as well, I'm going to try to give you a tutorial. So in that way, I, I know probably a lot of folks out there have wanted to check out this series. And that is probably a little intimidating considering it is very old. There's a lot of little keyboard commands, but it's not really all that complicated. But maybe I'm just saying that because, you know, I played it when I was a little kid and it's like burned into my brain. But either way, I think I'll kind of show you guys how to play it while I uh, do a couple missions here. All right, here we go. Okay, that was Wing Commander. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> okay. No. Oh, I got to choose the name. Oh, I know what my name is going to be. Jones. Dingleberry. I think I made that with a lowercase j, but that's okay. Dingleberry Jones. Yeah. Pot shot. Dingleberry Paladin. I'm the only one who doesn't use all caps, so they're not like yelling their names. I'm I'm cool enough to use lowercase letters. That's just how I roll. Okay, so the, this is the first sort of screen that you'll see when you start up the game. Um, what we were just doing was the fly training mission here. This is the uh, the train sim. I think I'll just do this just briefly. It's honestly it's kind of a waste of time. It's a nice way to practice, but. Uh, let's see if I can get this guy. Oh, look at that shit. Yeah, we just went head on. That's the way to do it. So how do I get out of this? I can't even remember. Is it X or something? Can I eject? Or just let him kill me, I guess? Ah, hell. I'll just edit this out later, maybe. Do a little bit of fighting. Ha! Ah, eat shit. Oh, how do you like that? Oh, screw you, dude. I should just let you kill me, because I can't remember how to get out of this. <laughs> Damn it, this is not off to a good start. Ah! I have no missiles left. What the hell? I only shot one of them. Did you blow them all up? Oh, just kill me. Come on. Do it, man. Come on. Bring it on, dude. Come on. You got my shields and my com computer system already? Just fucking finish the job, dude. It's okay. I'm not gonna shoot you. Wait, wait. What if I just set my throttle to, like, zero? Ow, 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 ow. ow. Hey, ow. Watch it. Ow. Dude, I'm not even moving. Well, you're already more competent than, uh, apparently Privateer 2's AI is so bad you can stop in place and they won't manage to kill you. Whereas I've now stopped in place in this and he almost has managed to kill me. Maybe if I just come at him a little bit. Come on, would you... There's gotta be a way out of this. <laughs> ah, this is not looking good. No, I can't defeat you. Would you just... Can I, I... I can't eject, huh? Ah! Is it like X? I don't dare... I know Alt-X will close the game. Is it just escape? It's escape. I am an idiot. It's escape. Yay, I won. I killed two guys. And I am already at the top of the board. In your face, Griffin! Merv Griffin's apparently on board the Tiger's Claw. And, okay, this will be, uh, this is the, uh, scoreboard here, this chalkboard up on the back wall. As you can see, I am zero for zero! We're off to a good start. <laughs> um, and you'll see how you, uh, once you pass certain ranks, like, for instance, once I pass, uh, Tanaka, I'll be up t to first lieutenant, then when I pass Devereaux, I'll be up to captain, and so on, so on. After major, there's also lieutenant colonel and colonel. Um, honestly, you will not get to lieutenant colonel or colonel, uh, just playing through the original. You would have to do secret missions one and two, the two expansion packs. Uh, first I've ever gotten is lieutenant colonel. That was years ago. I don't know if I can still do that now. Um, anyway, let's talk to everybody here. This is Shot Glass. Belly on up, friend. Take a load off. You must be Dingleberry. Yeah, what, what gave it away, Shot Glass? Used to be a pilot myself until you took an arrow to the... Oh, I'm sorry, I'll shut up. Uh, until the flea bag shot me up so bad I couldn't fly. Okay. I guess I flew almost every pilot on the claw. So if you want to know how one pilot or another flies... Yeah, I, I have to wonder if his name was Shot Glass before, like, when he was a pilot, or after... Oh, that was a creepy smile. Stop by when you're off duty. Oh, okay, yeah, you just gave me the creepy smile and asked me to stop. No, frig you, dude. And he's, like, yelling at me, and look, he's checking me out. Whatever, fuck that guy. Um, no, I have to wonder if his name was Shot Glass while he was a pilot or after. 
You know, he's just drinking on the job, maybe. And he just blames it. Like, ah, they shot me up so bad. I don't know. Oh, Gladi, take a seat and tilt a glass with old Paladin. Wow, you're Irish, aren't you? I never would have guessed. I recall once when I was just a lieutenant like yourself there. We're flying patrol or record. The fourth planet in the Alliance system. You managed to say that with no accent. These four Karathi Southie came zooming in with the sun at their backs. What is the point, Monsieur? Is the one we... So you're French, apparently. Oh, I was leading up to it last. God. Anyone on this just, you know, not incredibly... Everybody on this, I should get this out of the way. Every character in this is a very, very cruel ethnic stereotype. Everyone. I think there's an otaku coming up here shortly you're going to meet. There's... Oh, gosh. There's like a Pierce Brosnan looking guy. They're, they're all very, very crude stereotypes. Um, anyway, I don't want to bore you to death, as I already have, probably. Um, we'll go to the next room here. This is the uh, bunk room. Apparently, water drips in from space. I don't know what that's all about. Um, probably just like a leaky pipe. I mean, this ship must have toilets. They don't just... Unless they just shoot it all off into a vacuum. Who knows? Um, here's my, uh, my lovely... My chest. My my boobs that you can see. I have uh, three things. I don't know what they mean. I think the black and blue one though means that I've flown a hornet, which I'm about to do. Uh, the other two, I like the the wings, and I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna save my game real quick in case you know I lose all my progress so far. Dingleberry, there's Dingleberry. He's back to this guy. <laughs> all right, let's start the first mission here. We're gonna go to the hangar. Start our mission. We're in the Enyo system. It's 6 a.m. Okay. You kind of want to pay attention during these because they do give you a lot of clues. Um, let's see. Your rookies with flying experience pilots on your first missions. I want the rookies to fly as wing leaders. You guys keep an eye on the kids. Blah, blah, blah. Dingleberry, you're leading Alpha Wing. Go me. Spirit will fly wing. That's the otaku. She's quiet, but she knows the ropes. You're the wing leader, new guy, with your zero kills and zero missions. Be our wing leader. No, it's, it's definitely was like a programming limitation. Every wing creator game does this. Then again, I guess that's why it's called wing commander. Anyway, you'll check three possible jump points at about 20,000 clicks out. Blah, blah, blah. Asteroids near nav points two and three. So stay on course. Any questions? Blah, blah, blah. What are we to do if we encounter the enemy? Engage. Run like sissies. Let Dingleberry make the call. Old Dingleberry. Remember, this is no train sim. If you see the enemy, he'll be out to kill you. No shit. But be sure to do it to him before he does it to you. Squadron dismiss. Captain Obvious dismisses you. Here we go, guys. Just get me pumped for the mission. You're gonna kick some ass. Yeah. We're in the ship now. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna zero my engine. <laughs> this is actually my second take. The first take I uh, kinda ended up into a mess while trying to explain everything. But anyway, this is the Hornet here. Where we are at the front cockpit of the Hornet. So let me give you the grand tour. We've got our left, which as you can see, the lovely Tiger's Claw in our left port. The right, which is their spirit. I don't know what the hell she's doing. And then out behind us, if we press F5, we get our rear view, which you're not going to use ever because these are retarded and you should never use them. Um, and that's all cycled with the F keys. Um, let me go down to a couple things real quick. Uh, w changes your missile. We've got Javelin Heat Seekers, which, of course, uh, you have to lock on and fire, and that will automatically chase the enemy. Uh, Dart Dumb Fire, which is just your plain old point shoot missiles. They miss, they miss. And to shoot missiles, what you'd have to do, uh, well, your, your standard trigger, of course, shoots, but if you hold the second button and press fire, that will shoot your missiles. If you double tap that second button, that will do your afterburners. 
Um, what else should I point out? Uh, plus and minus change your actual speed. That's where it says KPS there is your current speed. Set is what you actually have it set to using uh, plus and minus. Uh, what else should I point out here? Where it says 40, 40, and you've got the green and the blue lines. That's your shield and your hull. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, fuel, which is affected, which affects like how often you can auto pilot. Which uh, it doesn't auto pilot doesn't really drain the fuel. It's mostly your afterburners that's going to drain the fuel. Um, here on the right, you'll see comp navigation. That's our nav computer telling us how far we are from the first nav point. And then you see this white cross here on the map that I have to that I'm pointed at now. Uh, what happens is that's pointing to the next nav point. When I press A, it's going to automatically jump me to that nav point to get there quicker so you don't have to sit here and wait for the ship to actually get there. Um, and if you press N again with the nav computer up, this shows you, uh, this gives you like a rundown of your actual mission here. We've got Tiger's Claw, which is our home base, nav 1, nav 2, nav 3. If you want to, you can take on these nav points in different order. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to do them normally. But like, just to give you an example, I could go nav one, then go to nav three uh, to avoid the asteroid field at nav two if I wanted to. Um, I'm not going to as I kind of want to show you how to navigate a, an asteroid field, I, or at least attempt to. They're rather tricky. Um, I, I, I should be able to do it. Um, I guess that's about all I want to explain, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Um, oh, I should also mention, I guess, uh, the G key switches guns if your ship has multiple guns. This one, of course, does not. I think 200 on me. So I'm going to go ahead and auto-nav to the first point here by pressing A. Uh, okay, we have ships on screen. So what you want to do, she's just going to stay on your wing until you give her orders. So you want to press C for your communications computer. Then 1, I want to talk to Spirit. And it looks like she's already going to do it. Okay, she's already decided to break an attack on her own. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Most of the time they'll just sit there going, what do you want me to do? So usually you want to just get in the habit of doing that. I'll show you again later. So I'm going to try to kick some ass here. I shot off a dumb fire missile and it missed because I was too far away because I'm a dingleberry. It looks like I don't need it anyway though because this guy is pretty well toast. Your skill is obvious. I bow to your talents. Ooh. Alright, let's get this guy. Whoa. Still getting used to this joystick here. Seems like the sensitivity is really high. I wonder if I can change that to look into it. That's the afterburner there. I just used bow! Weird thing, it's got that isometric 3D to it, so it's kind of hard to tell where you are. What do you expect? This is 1991, I believe. Or 1990, one of the two. Quit flying around like a... like a dingleberry. Let me kill you. Oh, there you go. All right, so that's done. So we still got a little ways to go for the first before the first uh, nav point. So I'm gonna go ahead and point it. Ooh, already near. Okay, so then we just kind of wait it out. Boom. You'll see if you notice right above where it says comp navigation, there's, a, there's an au uh, auto written in green. That'll be green when you can auto nav. It'll be red when you can't. So that's kind of handy. Though a lot of time you'll just be sitting there pressing A, waiting for it to turn green. Um, oh shit, asteroids. Okay. In an asteroid field, you want to drop your speed to, down to 250. Uh, that's, that is the safest asteroid field speed. Okay, I'm going to have to concentrate. <laughs> okay, that went well. Lost all my front hull. Way to go. I hate asteroid fields. Uh, what's even worse is uh, later on you get minefields, which... Huh, I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of research before I do a video about those, because uh, I can't remember how to survive those. They're horrendous. This, on the other hand, is usually just a matter of just taking it slow. Just keep them out of your cockpit view, and you pretty much aren't going to get hit. Like, it, just as long as they don't hit you head on, it's pretty much all you have to worry about. See, like, that one right there is going to hit me if I don't shoot it. Usually shooting them does not work very well. That was close. Uh, so, you kind of want to just stay out of the way like I was doing there. And it looks like we're clear. If I press D, I'll get a damage report. Luckily, no internal damage. Looks like all I lost was the hull on, on that asteroid hit. I think I got hit by, like, one asteroid and a little one. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to switch back to the weapons there so I can see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll use the javelin to show you how those work. Yeah. Whew. I'm smoking. Doesn't look like just a hull hit to me, guys. All right. I want to do... Fine. Well, whatever. Just attack my target then, since you don't seem to need the orders at all from me. 
That's the uh, missile lock for the heat seeker. It's probably gonna kill him in one hit. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this other butthole. If you press L, it'll lock on to a target so it doesn't keep changing it based on who's ever who's, like closer to you or who's ever in your sights. Oh! No, don't you dare. I want that one. Come on. I want to take him out. I got hit with an asteroid already. Come on, let me do it. No! Don't you dare. You're not running. No! I hate it when they run away. You can always tell because the music stops. Ah! Pansy. <laughs> damn it. Oh, and I've got another asteroid field coming. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> okay, we'll see how this goes. Whatever. That guy's a wuss. I think, though, this one, it looked like the the tiger's claw. I'm just going to end up, like, barely scathing this. Oh, drop it down to 250. Going too fast. 250 is good. You don't want to go mm -hmm, 240. It'll, it'll be then, I guess. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Can't believe I got hit with a nasty-ass asteroid while I'm trying to... Ah. Doesn't do well for my credibility. Alright. Now, when you approach a carrier to land, you have to request landing or else it will not work. Also, holding 2 will let you roll. And you have to line up with it. So I'm going to do Tiger's Claw, request landing, clear to land, and here we go. Land in the ship. I didn't realize how... I thought I'd have time to explain this stuff. I didn't realize how... This game's pretty fast-paced for its time. Looks like it got a little hot out there, sir. Indeed it did. Whoever you are. Alright, I'm about to get debriefed. Let's see how we did. Welcome back, Dingleberry. Looks like you survived your first trip out. He's a very able pilot. It is an honor to fly on his wing. It's high praise coming from spirit. You should be proud, Dingleberry. In case you said well, blah blah blah. Let's go over mission report. Four of the hairballs. Spirit came up empty. In your face! all dismissed. Alright, let's see. Uh, currently, my uh, missions to kills ratio is better than most everybody else's. Devereaux, you've been on four missions and you, you didn't get any kills. Uh, you've got more missions than kills, man. What what happened? They got the, those all weird. I think any... I don't think I'm good. <laughs> I think they're just bad. Uh... I don't know if I want to waste my time talking to these guys. Konnichiwa, Jones son. If I may say so, you're doing quite well. Blah 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 blah. Da 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 da. Yeah, no. Okay, we're just gonna keep keep going. We're just gonna press onward. Did I get any things? Any metal things? Apparently, I did. I don't know what they mean, but I got some. Okay. Let's see what happens next. I think I know this one. Epsilon wing. Escorting a Drayman. Okay. This one... This one should be... Alright. No asteroids this time. That's good. Escort the Drayman to Nav 1 and Nav 2. Everybody loves Drayman. <laughs> if the enemy retreats, you stay with the transport. There's an asteroid field between the Tiger's Claw and the Jump Point. A fighter might now get a dream of sport. Ah! See, there's where the nav computer comes in handy, because then I can skip the asteroid field and just go and come right back to the ship through nav one. There we go. I'm smart like that, see? Why didn't your, you know, tactical buttholes that make these missions figure that one out, Tiger's Claw? Yeah. There's our Drayman. Hi, Drayman. Oh, I can't talk to you? Oh, okay, fine. Maybe it's Ray Romano flying the Drayman. Raymond flying the Drayman. I don't know. Robert, I'm flying a spaceship! I don't know what he says. Alright, there's the break and attack. Oh, how do you like that? Oh, yeah! Ha! In your face, you little bastard. Oh! Come on! Yes! Crap. Get away from it. The best. Oh, shit. Sorry. Ah, well, she got a kill that time. Stole my kill. 
Alright, so we gotta go to Nav 1. Boom. And... We are waiting for the Drayman. Alright. And now Nav 2, which I'm sure we're gonna get ambushed. I'm certain of it. Oh yeah. It's like a habit you develop playing this. I'm gonna need to up my DOS box cycles a little bit more. Okay, I missed it. Alright, so since we now know there is an asteroid field, we're gonna be smart and go back to Nav 1 <laughs> to get back. Oh yeah. That's all there is to it. Nice, clean mission there. Not a scratch. Eh, sometimes I won't see it at first. Eh. A lot quicker than the first mission. <laughs> yep, you got away pretty clean. Alright, let's see how we did. Good job out there, Dingleberry. Okay, the, 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 the Dingleberry sign. <laughs> anyway, it's nice flying. Dingleberry took out three, Spirit got two. James Sport jumped. I want to see you in my office in a couple hours for some, uh, overtime. <laughs> oh boy. Jones, come in. I need to speak with you. Yes, sir? I've been speaking with Sector Command. The brass have been reviewing your record. I have good news. You already came in this morning. I've been authorized to promote you. Congratulations, First Lieutenant, already? The hell did I do? Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. We'll be leaving Enyo soon. Need to make some personnel changes. Effective immediately following the jump, you'll be reassigned. I want you flying a Skimitar class medium fighter with Blue Devil Squadron. Yes, sir! Skimitar is bitchin'. I like flying that thing. Holy shit, I got a medal too. <laughs> what did I even. I did nothing of significance. Why am I being. Oh, man. I, I kick ass, I guess. Meredith's conduct in confronting the Karathi enemy. I got a bronze star. Oh, good way to uh, good way to start the game, I think. Damn. Good job, Dingleberry. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Filled with pride. Those people look excessively happy for me. Go me, I guess. Did I really do that well? No, it's just that uh, Marshall there, maniac. Uh, didn't I beat his kills? I think that's the only reason they gave it to me because I got ahead of him. So for whatever mathematical bullshit this game does, it decided to make me first lieutenant two missions in. <laughs> I'm moving up the charts. You guys, watch out! Dingleberry's coming. Anyway, uh, like and favorite. Maybe I'll do some more Wing Commander for you guys sometime if I actually get any views. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh. I guess I'll say what they always say in Wing Commander, and that's, uh, may the force be with you.